post game show presented by Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Walla Walla and the Sweet Onion Farmers of Walla Walla. This is going to be a twofer. I got Darius Vines with me right now. Hayden King is going to come on in a second. Uh, but Darius, you, you score the game winning run tonight. You pinch ran for Josh Brazina after you got a double with two outs. And then uh, madness ensued, right? You're out there at second base, 3 2 count. You go to steal third base, pickoff throw goes into, into center field. You come around to score. Uh, just take me through the play, what you were thinking, and, and you know, just kind of how everything unfolded. Honestly, uh, when I got out there, I was just thinking, don't get picked. Uh, <laughs> so there was a one-two count. I had the guys count, like, pause. Mm -hmm. Up until he looked twice, I was about to steal, so I was like, I have to get back. And then I decided, all right, I'm just going to let it lay low. I'll let Jack drive in the run. So 3-2 came, and they already had 3-2 on the board, so I thought it was ball four. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to chill. I'll steal first pitch, next pitch. Yeah. And it wasn't. It was 2-2, so I was like, all right, whatever. I was like, I'm going to go this next pitch no matter what. Mm -hmm. I, right when he looked once, I knew he was going to look again. He looked again, and right when he turned around, I took, I took off. And apparently from the dugout, they said I was safe no matter what at third. So yeah. I was like, all right, I'm just going to do it. And then next thing you know, the ball's in center, and Frank's waving me around. So I'm like... All right, this is the game. <laughs> yeah, no, it, again, it worked out great. And like you said, I honestly think you would have been safe as well. I mean, the, the jump you had on the guy was crazy. And I think just even the way that you were kind of, you know, moving around out there threw him off. And then again, I think the fact that you were already all the way almost to third base, that, that kind of what resulted in him throwing the ball in the center field. So, hey, great job out there tonight, man, <laughs> coming in there, getting the job done in one spot. And then the guy who started things off the right way here tonight, Hayden King, Got the ball in the start and was absolutely lights out, Hayden. You went five strong innings tonight. Did allow the one earned run, but you had 11 strikeouts out of the 15 outs you recorded. So, hey, just what were you feeling out there, man? Because you seemed about as locked in as you have been all year. Yeah, I mean, I really in the first I've been battling a cold the last couple of days, and I was like, all right, I just got to really got a pitch today. And it kind of made it easier to just focus in on the glove and not worry about all the other stuff going on. Um, I knew from the first inning that it was going to be a special day. I really felt locked in more than I have all season. And, you know, I, I told Frank after the game, that's just the best I felt in over a year, for sure. Now, well, I mean, you really looked like it. I mean, again, dude, those, those guys just could not touch you. I mean, you were striking guys out left and right. Uh, what was really your kind of go-to out there? It seemed like you had the off-speed pitches working really well. Yeah. I know you climbed the ladder a couple times on a fastball, but what were you really trying to kind of go to to get those punch outs? Yeah, I mean, I really, early it was established fastball, and once the second, uh, they came through the order the second time, it was really, I needed to get the off-speed over, and I did, and I thought that was really helpful um, to get into two strikes, because, I mean, a lot of times when you get to two strikes, you're going to sit off-speed yeah. and just try to spoil fastball, but it put them in the situation where they were going to be so uncomfortable that they didn't know what was coming, and it really looked like that today. Yeah, no, it did. It's, I mean, you kept the guys off balance. You put them in the rocking chair seemingly all game long, and and so great performance by you. Shit. You exit the game, and then Hayden King, or not Hayden King, you're Hayden King. Yeah, Brady. Brady Heroy comes on. He throws two and two-thirds shutout innings, and he was pretty lights out as well. What did you see from him out there? Well, I mean, I think it's a really good – it was a good change because – we're both lefties, but we're a little different in velocity, and he, he really, really works off his fastball. And I thought, I mean, eight, retired eight of nine batters, he was solid. Yeah. Um, other, other than that walk, he really looked like he was locked in, and he looked good tonight for sure. Yeah, and the last two guys too, Reed and Sullivan. You know, I mean, big time coming in and shutting the door. Those guys are electric, man. It was, it was a, just a great pitching performance throughout for you guys. Uh, and you know, obviously, the big play by Darius to get that run. You know, what was that like in the dugout as he's coming around the bases to score? Oh, I, I immediately hopped the fence and gave him a chest bump uh, right when he crossed home. I was pumped. Um, I just thought it was kind of funny too. You bring a pitcher into a pinch run, yeah. and he ends up making a, a he's gambling, making a risky play, but it ended up working out for us. So yeah, it was just it was an exciting game, an exciting yeah, finish. For sure. uh, a lot of fun to win a game like that. A great team win, and again, you got the ball to start, and you kind of gave us the momentum to kind of get rolling in there and be able to give us a chance to win the ball game. Is again not pitching in that field either, and you took full advantage of it and had an unbelievable day on the mound. So talking here with Hayden King on the Walla Walla Suites post game show presented by Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Walla Walla and the Sweet Onion Farmers of Walla Walla. Hayden, thanks for taking the time to talk to us, man. And again, a great job out there tonight.